Yeah, I would say at its core, Rainbow Six Siege is a competitive game. And I think the evolving meta, the learning curve, the fact that it's constantly evolving and it's expanding, it's definitely the most artistic part of the game. I'm Brandon Carr. I'm more commonly known as BC. I'm a former professional Siege player, and I'm now coaching for Dark Show Esports in Texas. I started playing professionally right when the Pro League was announced. My main team, the big team that I played for initially, was Evil Geniuses. I was with them for like a year and a half, and then up till recently, I decided to transfer into a coaching role, and so I decided to join Dark Star Esports as their coach. I've been with them for a little over two months, and you know it's been going wonderfully. I see Siege as a puzzle strategy game that needs to be mastered. So I focus every day on strategizing and how to beat an opponent head to head. It's kind of like a chess match. Other players might focus on individual skill and help each other improve and work on communication, but I'm all about improving a person's understanding of the game. The idea is that we just take it one day at a time and we just try to improve the team in every aspect of competitive play. So any given day, we might wake up, make sure the team is feeling well, so we might train, we might eat well, focus on the mentality of each player, do one-on-ones, making sure everyone's got the right state of mind. At the beginning stages of Siege, everything was way more simple than it is now. Throughout the years, people have really pushed the limits on what they can do with certain operators and different strategies and tactics on maps. Every year, every season, we add a new layer of strategy and it's now become this thing where it feels limitless. It's important to connect the players and the developers together because it helps create a much more structured and more enjoyable cultured game. As a pro player or as a coach, competitor, I think if I could tell the rest of the community one thing, it would be along the lines of we are playing and we love the exact same game. In order for us to even exist and do what we do and live out our dreams, we need everyone in the game to have a great time and to play a well-balanced game. The dev team just needs to keep doing what they're doing. You know, they listen to the pro players, the casual community, listen to just pure fans and themselves. They have a vision. We want to see it through. It's their game. They should be extremely proud because we're proud to play and we love the game. The Sixth Invitational is the pinnacle of Siege. And not just in esports, even though it is a major for Pro League, I mean, it is a Siege event. There are competitors and pillars of the community, content creators, just fans, whether it's esports or artistic stuff. It's just an awesome event, has a great atmosphere, and it connects all different people of Siege. Being a part of this behind the siege movement is it's an honor. And I remember as a kid looking up to pro players and it was it was everything. Like they were the legends, they were everything I wanted to be. You know, I'm on the other end of the spectrum now. And it's crazy to reflect and see where I'm at and where I was. The game changed my life because now it's it's my job. I work every day doing what I love and it's just it's awesome.